Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Maths Grade 9. We're still doing corrections today. We're dealing with similarity and congruency and parallel lines, um, 2D shapes. You can see all these figures here. We've got parallelograms. We have got, or should I say, we've got quadrilaterals. We've got triangles, parallel lines there. And we still have congruency and similarity, but more of similarity than congruency today. So before we continue, actually today I'm not going to give you any answers. You are giving me answers and then I'm going to start with my A today. I'm very happy to see you and thank you for coming. So let us start with this one. Uh, we are given a figure here and in this figure, uh, my A, before you can answer me, I want you to analyze it. I have got a parallelogram first of all. Parallelogram, let me just highlight it with the red. I've got a parallelogram. Do you see what I am doing, boys and girls? I identify the information that I am given before I can even attempt to answer the questions. I have a parallelogram there, and then I have got a triangle in the link to the parallelogram. And then among them, I have got uh, parallel lines and then I've got a small triangle there that that is uh, isosceles triangle so before you can answer you should you should at least have that information in your head and also know the properties of the quadrilaterals of the parallelogram that you see here and also of the triangles and of the parallel lines that you see here okay Mike are you ready to give me the answer what is the value of A? My kick you better learn right now. Okay, my guest seems to be having problems. Is there anyone who would like to help, guys? Anyone? Bela, are you there? Neo? Yes, ma'am. Are you there? Are you going to give me the answer for the value of A? Because we are given this diagram and they are, telling, they are asking us uh, to determine the value of the unknown angles, which is A and B. Yeah? How are you going to do this? The diagram is also on your phone. If you're not seeing it clearly here, you can check it on your phone. Okay, it seems like the Baylor also is seeing dust. Neo, do I have Neo here? Yes, ma'am. Can you talk to me? May you please give me the value of A or B? I'm speaking about the first diagram of question six. Uh, the corrections for last test. Six, six six yes, the first one. Okay, the value of A is equal to 55 degrees because they are corresponding angles. Well done. The value of A is equal to 55 degrees. Like I have mentioned, guys, you must work with the information that you have. Uh, we have got parallel lines. This line is parallel to this line. And also these lines are parallel to those lines. And I've already highlighted the quadrilateral there. So when you see parallel lines, don't give up yet. You must look for fun. You must look for these letters. I'm going to say this until you get it. So here, I assume Neo looked for F. Or looked for all the letters until she found that F is the letter that she can use. So therefore, this angle here is equal to that angle here. And therefore, F, we remember that F is corresponding angles. 
corresponding angles of parallel lines. You must always, always indicate that uh, for parallel lines, I draw these two lines, they indicate that parallel lines. Okay? And then what will be the letter of B? B is equal to uh, angle A and it's equal to 55 degrees because they are alternate angles. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, B is equal to angle A is equal to angle 55 because they are alternating. Oh, let me just write all angles. Alternating angles, alternating angles of parallel lines. I think someone might have used a different approach because I think I have got a different approach as well. Is there anyone in our group who has got A with a different, I mean the letter of B with a different reason? A. Okay, yes, tell me. Yeah. B is equals to 55 degrees opposite angles of a parallel grammar. Yeah, that's what I saw as well. So I would say B is equals to 55 degrees uh, opposite angles of a parallel parallelogram. Well done. Because you did not understand. So we have just done this. What is your main concern or what is your main question or challenge before we move on? Mike, talk to me. Um, you cannot see the board. Yeah, that's why I sent these things on your WhatsApp. They are there on your WhatsApp. So look at it on your uh, on your phone so that you can see the diagram clearly and ask questions based on the clear diagram that you see. Or should I move? Maybe. It will help. Jibela, what's your problem? I cannot hear you clearly. May you please speak louder? Ma'am, I can hear you very method of fun. Oh, you don't know how to identify fun? Eh. Mm, okay. So you want to tell me that you cannot see Z? You cannot see F? Like looking at this, do you see this now? Yeah. Uh, now that I've highlighted it, it or now that it's highlighted, do you see it? Do you do you see the F that we're talking about? Yes. Okay. So do you know when to look for these letters F, U, N, or Z? On parallel lines. Yes, on parallel lines. So do you think you can try to um, identify them on a different diagram like maybe here because we also have parallel lines? No. You cannot try. Oh, I can. Okay, let's try. Let's look at this one. We are not answering any question. We are just looking for Z. F and you and you tell me and you tell me which angles are covered by Z, F and U. We are not answering any question. Let's try this. We have got uh we have got A B which is parallel to D C. Yes. Or we have got A E which is parallel to B C. Let's try. Um, the angles in Jackie. 
K the cover K B one and D one. B one or wait 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 and D one. B one. But do you see that B one is covered by this line? Do you see this line that I'm drawing? Yes. Is this line parallel to any of the lines? This line that I'm drawing, this one. Do you see a notation or an indication of parallel lines? No. Therefore, we cannot work with that line because it does not uh, have parallel. It's not a. Par it's not parallel to any of the lines. So therefore, we cannot expect to find an F or a U or a Z from it. You get my point? Yes. Yes. So can we target uh, F, uh, U, and Z on parallel lines, please? U and Z. U. U. Wait, do we have U? I mean, you mean on the diagram? No. This is C. No, we have U. Okay. Okay, Dibela. Let us, for now, save time. It will be easily identifiable on the diagram that we are going to. Alright? Yes. Okay. So now, we have got this diagram where we are requested to prove that side BC side BC is this one is equal to side BE is equal to side BE okay so now there is information that we are given they are saying that a b they are saying that a b i'm just gonna highlight it with red they are saying that a b is equals to b e is equals to b e so it means this triangle it is an isosceles triangle because it's got uh, equal sides there. And they say to us that prove that BC is equals to BE. What are we going to do and how are we going to do it? Remember, before you can start, identify all the quadrilaterals. If they are there, triangles that are there, um, parallel lines that are there, anything that you can use. Must always work with the information that you have. Okay, is there anyone who wants to try? Makwena? Do I have Makwena on the group? Men. Yeah? Prove that BC is equals to BE. You just said you just said that. So like the the relative angle You check the angles first. How did you do it? Yeah. What did you write? Tell us what you wrote. Really, uh it's okay. Angle B T equals to angle E. Alternate angle. You said angle what? B two. B or D. B two. Okay, angle B two. Ah. Oh, 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 yeah, and a B equals to angle 
Oh, equals to angle E. Mapwena. Oh, what? What is your reason? Well, I have an angle of a line BE. It's not parallel to any line. So you cannot be talking about uh, alternating angles. You get my point. This this line B E is not parallel to any of the lines. So we cannot be talking about alternating angles, corresponding angles, or cointeria angles. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Okay, do I have Mpomweji here? Do I have Mpomweji? Do I have Ali? Do I have Ramano training? <laughs> Um, yes, on. tell me how is BE prove that B I mean DC is equals to BE. DC is equals to BE. Next okay. Nakir, if you take the uh, line DC, yeah, line DC is equals to is equals to BE. It's equals to BE. Huh? Because line DC. Because I'm afraid we still uh, taking it easy, my darling. DC is equals to BE. Is that what you said? Uh, uh, angle angle B is equals to angle D. Why? Because they are ninety degrees. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> oh, well, we, we must be given that uh, particular lines are perpendicular, then we know that when they meet, they will give us 90 degrees. Yes, a uh, line, line AG, eh? BD, eh? ADE is perpendicular. Do you have that information? Maybe we missed it. Are we given that information? No. We are not. So we can't create it for ourselves. Uh, okay, so ma'am, uh, the, uh, uh, the two lines are diagonal. The two lines are diagonals. Yes, B, E, and D, C. B, E, B, E, and D, C. And DC. Mm. <sighs> Train. Ma'am, the diagonals of a square, just that uh, the other line is not visible. Mm -hmm. Oh, what really? Okay, sharp. Hey, my map is not triangle. I uh, don't don't you dare talk about my drawing because you know that my drawing. <laughs> okay, sharp. Let us let us check something. Let us check something. Okay. Let us check something. We have got um A D C B. Do you see that this is a parallelogram? Unfortunately, I did not draw it well because my drawing is, you know, yeah. Do you see that the, it's a parallelogram? Yes. What are the properties of a parallelogram? Talk about their sides. Opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are equal. So am I right to say AB is equal to DC? Uh. A, B is equal yes. to D, C. Why? What is my reason? 
opposite side are equal. Opposite side of parallel of a parallelogram. Next. Um, mm, like this. Like yes. Here so that I can have space. A B is equals to uh D C. We said D C, right? Yes, D C. And our reason was opposite sides of a parallelogram. Okay, and then there is an information that is given there. We have got AB, which is equals to BE. We are given this information. Yeah, meaning that DC and BE, sorry, DC and BE are equal. Why? Because they are both equals to AB. AB. Yes. Both equals to AB. So does it make sense? It, it, it will not always be about the angles. Sometimes you have to check the sides. And it's very important to check the information that you have and the relationship of the of the information that you are given together with the uh, information that you are requested to look for making sense can we move on now yes okay is there uh, yes. do we have any questions <laughs>